Hi, my name is Gabe. In this problem, we're asked to rewrite these two expressions using only positive exponents. So for part A, we can begin by multiplying the exponents. So what we end up with is we end up with an x to the negative 3 times a negative 3 times a y to the 4th times a negative 3 divided by 5 to the negative 3. Now simplifying each exponent, we end up with an x to the 9th times a y to the negative 12th divided by a 5 to the negative 3rd. So what we see here is we only have two more negative exponents, this y to the negative 12th and this 5 to the negative 3. Well, we'll use our properties of exponents and rewrite this as 5 cubed times x to the 9th divided by y to the 12th. Well, we can evaluate this 5 cubed, which is just 125. So this becomes 125 x to the 9th divided by y to the 12th. So this expression here, written with only positive exponents, is 125 x to the 9th divided by y to the 12th. For part b, we're asked to rewrite this expression using only positive exponents. Well, just by looking at it, the only two po negative exponents we have are this a to the negative 2 and this b to the negative 2. Well, we can go ahead and use our properties of exponents and rewrite this as b squared divided by a squared. Now, we're still multiplying this by b divided by a cubed, but again, we can use our properties of exponents to write this as a b cubed divided by an a cubed. So from here, all we need to do is multiply two fractions. So what we see is in our numerator, we have a b squared times a b cubed, which is a b to the 2 plus 3. And in the denominator, we have an a squared times an a cubed, which is an a to the 2 plus 3. Now this comes just from our properties of exponents, but this simplifies down to a b to the fifth divided by a to the fifth. So this expression here, written with only positive exponents, is b to the fifth divided by a to the fifth. Thank you.